Pluto is even further away and perplexing. The small planet was once a member of our nearby planetary family. Despite this, it was later reclassified, which was troubling. Announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. Their shocking revelation suggests that this cold world is about to change. A close interaction with Neptune, how could this happen? Furthermore, what might be the consequences of such a tremendous event? Are we witnessing an extraordinary cosmic phenomenon, or is there something else behind this impending celestial encounter? Join us as we explore the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet now classified as a dwarf planet due to its erratic orbit, remains a subject of study and fascination within the scientific community. In recent times, expectations from well-known scientists have raised concerns about Pluto's trajectory being dangerously close to Neptune. Top astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both sounding the alarm about a possible perilous collision between these two celestial bodies, a collision that could pose a massive threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unique compared to all other planets. Based on its structure, it takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has only completed one full revolution around the Sun. However, the intrigue does not end there. Pluto's orbital path is highly unusual. Unlike the nearly circular orbits of major planets, Pluto's path is exceptionally elliptical. What makes its orbit even more surprising is its inclination. It is tilted 17 degrees from the ecliptic plane. This extreme tilt and irregularity add layers of complexity to its movement. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its periodic proximity to Neptune. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying conventional expectations of their positions in the solar system. This naturally raises the question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in gravitational interactions. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, as experts in space struggled to understand its unique trajectory. Unlike the relatively flat orbits of most planets, Pluto's steep inclination and eccentric shape made it stand out. The mystery deepened when astronomers realized that Pluto's orbit does, in fact, cross Neptune's. Despite this, Pluto's orbital stability is maintained due to complex celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space, which examines how three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact through gravity, helps explain this phenomenon. Predicting their precise movements is highly challenging, but several key mechanisms prevent a collision. One such mechanism is Pluto's orbital resonance with Neptune. Whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is always positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation ensures that their orbits do not directly interfere with each other. Another crucial factor is the vertical displacement of Pluto's orbit. When Pluto comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned significantly above or below their orbital planes, providing an additional layer of protection against potential collisions. Additionally, the VSK oscillation, named after researchers Vladimir Vav, Sergei Smirnov, and Konstantin Kolshevnikov, further stabilizes Pluto's orbit. This oscillation describes how the gravitational influences of the Sun, Neptune, and Pluto interact over long timescales. Despite the apparent randomness of Pluto's movements, this oscillation helps maintain its stability over millions, if not billions, of years. Advanced numerical simulations in the late 1980s confirmed that while Pluto's orbit appears chaotic, it remains stable due to these unique properties. Even minor deviations in initial conditions can lead to vastly different long-term outcomes, yet Pluto's path has remained consistent. Further computer models have helped scientists understand how the gravitational forces of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn collectively influence Pluto's orbit. These simulations revealed a fascinating relationship. For every three orbits Neptune completes around the Sun, Pluto completes exactly two. This resonance helps maintain Pluto's stability. But Neptune isn't the only planet playing a role. Jupiter's gravity also significantly contributes to keeping Pluto on a steady course. In fact, Saturn plays a part as well. Studies suggest that Jupiter's gravitational pull alone is strong enough to keep Pluto's orbit stable for billions of years. Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn effectively work together to ensure that Pluto remains safely in its path, preventing chaotic disruptions. 
These gravitational interactions are essential to maintaining order within our solar system. Without them, planetary orbits could become erratic, leading to potential collisions or even ejections from the solar system. Thus, while Pluto's orbit may seem unpredictable, hidden forces ensure its long-term stability. Understanding these intricate cosmic dynamics not only helps us study Pluto but also sheds light on the broader workings of planetary systems across the universe. Understanding the mechanisms that keep Pluto's orbit stable provides valuable insights into planetary dynamics across the universe. The delicate balance between gravitational influences from Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn illustrates how celestial mechanics maintain order in our solar system. However, the possibility of long-term orbital shifts raises questions about what could happen millions or even billions of years from now. While current models suggest that Pluto's orbit is stable for an extended period, small perturbations over vast timescales could introduce unpredictable changes. Even a slight gravitational disturbance, perhaps caused by an unaccounted for celestial body, a passing star, or an undiscovered distant planet, could alter Pluto's trajectory. Could Pluto's orbit ever become unstable? Despite the sophisticated calculations proving Pluto's stability, astronomers remain vigilant about potential disruptions. The three-body problem, while well understood, still carries inherent uncertainties. If a significant external force were to impact Pluto's orbit, its resonance with Neptune could weaken, increasing the risk of orbital divergence. One scenario involves the gravitational influence of transneptunian objects, TNOs, or the hypothetical Planet 9, a proposed massive planet lurking in the outer solar system. If such a body exists, its gravitational pull could introduce gradual but meaningful shifts in Pluto's orbit over time. While no immediate danger exists, the possibility remains that, Far in the future, Pluto's stable orbit could be altered enough to pose new questions for astronomers. The Future of Pluto's Exploration As Pluto remains a point of interest for planetary scientists, future missions may provide more insights into its mysterious behavior. NASA's New Horizons mission, which provided the first close-up images of Pluto in 2015, revealed a world far more complex than previously thought. From towering ice mountains to vast plains of frozen nitrogen, Pluto's dynamic surface suggests ongoing geological activity. Continued study of Pluto's orbit and composition could unlock further secrets about its past and potential future. Scientists speculate that Pluto may harbor a subsurface ocean, making it a candidate for studying extraterrestrial habitability. Additionally, understanding its interactions with Neptune could refine models of planetary migration and resonance, concepts that apply to exoplanetary systems as well. The Cosmic Dance Continues for now, Pluto and Neptune will continue their intricate orbital dance, carefully synchronized by the invisible forces of gravity. Their delicate gravitational interplay ensures that, despite their close proximity at times, a direct collision remains highly unlikely for the foreseeable future. The study of Pluto is far from over. As our observational technology improves and space missions venture deeper into the solar system, new discoveries may challenge or further confirm our understanding of Pluto's unique path. Whether it remains a quiet wanderer in the Kuiper Belt or eventually faces a more dramatic fate, one thing is certain, Pluto's story is still being written, one orbit at a time. Additional celestial bodies for Pluto, particularly those with possible discussions about it crashing into Neptune later on, make it essential to comprehend its orbit. This gives us a clearer picture of the planetary systems in close proximity and their dynamic nature. Pluto's case demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of equilibrium due to gravity's intricate interaction, orbital mechanics, and gravitational forces. It also shows the importance of steady observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand where we stand in exploring the depths of the universe. Space frequently drives us to confront the erratic nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect illustration of this unpredictability. This idea is the basis of orbital chaos, a term used to describe the delicate reliance of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions. In the case of Pluto, even minute differences in the dwarf planet's position or speed can substantially alter its long-term orbit. This has been simulated virtually, which has been incredibly helpful for analysis to determine how Pluto moves in space. The math behind these simulations is complicated, as they attempt to mimic how Pluto, Neptune, and other space objects pull on each other. By altering minor details in these simulations, astronomers can observe how even tiny changes can make a huge difference in Pluto's position. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something really interesting about Pluto's orbit. 
Despite having stabilizing mechanisms like scope and asymptotic calibration, its orbit can still be wild and erratic. Even a small difference in Pluto's initial position or velocity can result in a dramatically different path over many years. Nonetheless, while Pluto's orbit remains chaotic, it stays stable for long periods, billions of years. This indicates that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a certain order to it, even though it seems unpredictable at first. Predicting major astronomical events, especially when dealing with turbulent orbits like Pluto's, presents enormous challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that predictions for the future often come with uncertainty. While numerical simulations provide a solid tool for understanding and forecasting celestial behavior, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of gravitational interactions. Even slight errors or distortions in simulations can lead to drastically different results, making precise predictions a daunting task. In addition to these challenges, the erratic nature of celestial orbits, like Pluto's, reminds us of the universe's constant change and dynamism. While we have made enormous strides in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights that our knowledge of the universe is still limited. The gravitational effects of Pluto's orbiting bodies provide valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. They demonstrate how the presence and position of each planet can have far-reaching effects, influencing the stability and motion of other celestial bodies. So why are astrophysicists raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite the interconnected gravitational forces that seem to prevent such an event, some still question the long-term stability of their orbits. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist, offers a novel perspective on the mysteries of our planetary system, especially the captivating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in reclassifying Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful commentary on celestial mechanics and the public's fascination with Pluto's status. He argues that Pluto's renaming was not a demotion but rather a necessary revision reflecting our expanding understanding of the solar system. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continual transformation and learning. He recognizes the complexities of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune through a lens that acknowledges space's eccentricities. He suggests that, while Pluto's orbit is stable for now, it could undergo significant changes in the future. This possibility serves as a reminder of how much we still have to discover about the forces shaping our planetary system. In conclusion, Pluto's orbit offers a fascinating look into the complex interplay of gravitational forces within the solar system. While its path appears stable now, the intricate dynamics between Pluto, Neptune, and other planets mean that even seemingly steady orbits could shift over time. As astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson continue to investigate the mysteries of the universe, they help us better comprehend the delicate equilibrium governing celestial movements. A potential Pluto-Neptune collision is not necessarily inevitable, but it is a testament to the ever-evolving and unpredictable nature of the universe. Regardless of the scientific debates surrounding Pluto's orbit, it is important to consider the broader implications of these dynamics for our understanding of the solar system and the universe at large. Pluto's journey is one filled with intrigue, reminding us that space is full of hidden complexities waiting to be explored. A particularly crucial concept in Pluto's orbit is orbital resonance, a stabilizing relationship between Pluto and Neptune. This resonance, where the ratio of Pluto's and Neptune's orbits is 2 to 3, is a remarkable aspect of celestial mechanics. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This mathematical relationship ensures that, Despite their crossing orbits, the two planets never collide. The gravitational interactions between them work in harmony to stabilize their paths and prevent any catastrophic impact.